Hello, this is Toe from Triflow Production with another Blender Quick Tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can make a tree uh, very easily using an add-on which is free and open source called the M Tree. Uh, my voice, once again, is going to sound kind of different from my other recordings because I'm using my laptop and I'm, I'm at work right now. Uh, but I just want to keep these tutorials going because it seems to be helping quite a few people. Plus, a reminder for me, helping me also out also. But I'll leave a uh, link of the uh, add-on in the description below this video. And once you've done that, you know, the install process is pretty straightforward. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this add-on is basically for 2.8. So I'm going to open up uh, 2.8. You see, open up that one. And the way you can install it is just go to Edit, Preferences, and excuse me for not using the, the uh, screencast keys, this is my laptop and I haven't set that up on the laptop yet. But just follow the uh, process and I'll try to do as much commentary as I can on which keys I'm using. But once you've opened up the uh, preferences to install the add-on, go to install. And wherever you've downloaded the uh, add-on to your system, just go to that folder. I've uh, installed mine, or downloaded mine to the Blender add-ons folder that, that I created. Click on the uh, add-on itself and install the add-on. I've already done that. And once you have done that, let's close this out. I'm going to type in tree so I can pull the add-on up. Just uh, click in this box and it makes a check mark and it activates the add-on automatically. Let's close that out. Now you're going to wonder, okay, where is it? And I'll show you where it is. Let's clear out all the elements in our scene here. Let's press A twice on our keyboard to select everything and then just press delete on your keyboard. Now hover your mouse over in this corner, left click and drag to split the uh, window. And then press N to hide the uh, that's that panel and on this side also hide that panel. And then from here <clears throat> to find out where the add-on is, it's in the uh, node system. So let's click on that icon to pull up the drop down menu and you'll see it's M tree node tree. To get us more real estate to work with, we're going to hover our mouse over uh, this section, this area. Once it turns to a double arrow, hold down your left mouse button and just drag it across. That minimizes that. And here you're going to see that it's an empty space. To start using this add-on, just click on new. And we're going to, I'm just going to you can call it anything you want. I'm going to call mine baby tree baby tree enter and then you're going to click on add to start adding the nodes it's a node based system usually with an add-on you'd have all the parameters off to the side and in the panel off to the side here but this one is a little bit different when I first saw it it was kind of off-putting but once I got used to the system of the node system it's, it's pretty straightforward pretty simple it's no, nothing hard in it at all For, as a beginner it's pretty straightforward just click on add nodes you're going to click on trunk node and left click to accept that node and scroll up on your mouse wheel so you can zoom in and hold down your middle mouse button and just drag to center of that node so you can see get a better visual of what you're looking at so we've got the trunk add again nodes and we're going to click on branch node so we need branches for the tree left click to accept that node then click add again nodes and we're going to let me see uh, tree parameters I think that's it yeah tree parameters left click that and then hold down your middle mouse button again and, and uh, drag now we're going to connect this node to this so hold down your or left click on your mouse on this little gray node. Left click and hold down and drag till it connects to the node in this other uh, other node. Now the reason why it creates another little node there is because it allows you to add more uh, nodes to it. So you can add a, let me see, roots to it, tree parameters, which you can add that to it, grow node, split node, branch node, twig node. But we just need these three nodes to start with. And now you, you're wondering, okay, I've 
we've got all these nodes, but where's the tree? And all you have to do is just click create tree, and there it is. Now we're going to scroll down on with our middle mouse button to zoom out, hold down, shift, and your middle mouse button and drag down so you can get a better view of your tree just to center it. And to see its update as you uh, change its parameters, just click on auto update and auto automatically updates your tree automatically. Now, these parameters, they all work great. When I first started messing or playing around with these parameters, I'm just going to be honest with you, when I first saw this uh, add-on, I didn't think it was all that good because uh, Blender already has this, uh, a tree or a sapling generator, which looks similar to this. But this does way more than Blender's uh, built-in sapling generator, way more. Now you can change the seed, the way it looks, change the length of the trunk. The trunk part is the middle part here, is what we're uh, working with at, with this node here. And just change it, you know, do a couple of clicks on it to change the appearance of the trunk here. Change the resolution. Now what you're saying here is just a preview. Uh, when you look at the output, you can go to the preview to your found view. The found view looks much better than the preview, but we're just sticking with the preview because it's low poly. If you look down here at your vert count, it's just around 3,000 vert counts. Face 3,000, which is very low, and which is good for you when you're working in making your tree inside of the user interface of Blender. It's easy to move, move around. There's no lag in it at all, which is great. You can click on this parameters to change the shape of your tree. Now here, this affects the branches. You can change the branches, the seed branch. The seed gives you that random look if you want it. Change the amount of branches here, as you can see there. Change their split angle, which means how the tree bends at the end. And you can change how gravity affects it to make to view more of what these parameters actually say here. What because you can see some of these are cut off because the uh, the node is kind of narrow. Puff your mouse over one side of the the node here. Left click and drag when it turns to a double arrow so you can see more of the explanation of what the node actually is. You can increase the gravity strength that makes the branches droop. The split proba. With that, that splits the branches so you can have, we'll see how that really works when we add leaves to it. And the good thing about this add-on too is that there are presets. So if once you've created your tree here, you can, if, you, if you're wanting a specific look or a specific kind of tree, um, left click on this little arrow here, and we're going to go to M tree, and then you have your presets here. You have, uh, you have oak, old oak, scots, pine, spruce. Those, they're, they're just three, but they're, it's not bad to have those three. And once you've chosen one, old oak, you can just uh, click on load preset. And it'll automatically load that preset. But right now, we're just going to work with what we've got right here. So we can have a better understanding of how this uh, node system, tree-based node system works. And once again, you can increase resolution, but remember if you increase the resolution of your tree, it's going to take a longer time to uh, render. But you're kind of wondering, okay, how do I apply leaves to this? To do that, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, you can go up, back up to Add, Nodes, and then you're going to press on Twig Node. And that brings up the twigs, which contains leaves. And that's another great thing about this add-on. It comes with leaves, which is great. So you don't have to create leaves yourself. You can if you want to, but we're just sticking with out of the box functionality of this particular add on. Now, you, you're wondering, okay, how can I get the leaves? You just click on execute, and there are leaves right there. Let's hold down shift, the mouse button, drag up, and there are leaves right there. To move to um, move around your user interface, hold down your middle mouse button, or you can just Click on one of these icons, like click on the hover your mouse with the hand icon, you just left click and drag. That's an easy way to do it. It has like three or four different leaf presets. Shift B, let's shift, let's zoom in on our leaves just let's press Shift B. Left click and drag. This was in another tutorial that I did to zoom in on a particular part of your mesh. But these leaves are here, these aren't the only leaves that you've got. Uh, here, once again, let's left click. Double arrows, left click and drag to see more of what we're, what these parameters are. Left click and drag again. 
leaf type. Here, this this palamate <coughs> or palamate, I, I don't know, I don't know how to pronounce that. But we can change the to this. It's got like four or five different presets here in the serrate. Execute. So you have to see the changes. You click execute. So you can see what they look like. Those those are those leaves there. And this is, let me see, palamatisate. I, I don't know what <laughs> how to pronounce that either, but let's, let's see what it looks like. Execute, and that's what that looks like. So it's got those three or four basic looking leaves, but that's fine too. And it looks good when it's rendered in cycles. It doesn't work in EVE too well, especially the... Uh, the uh, the bark of the tree it doesn't work at all in the eve it only works in cycles when you render it and don't worry about these little uh these little branches that don't look like they're connected to the tree this low resolution once you put it in, in the final high resolution all these connect automatically not only that but it comes with the rig just in case you want movement in your tree and to add uh, to uh activate the rig you just click on put a check mark in there and it activates the rig for you so that's also great now let's see how we can actually add these leaves to this tree. Once again, these parameters, there's a lot of parameters you can change. Here are the resolution of the leaf and the twigs, the seed, randomness of the seed. And once again, once you click on anything and these parameters, click S cubes. So you can see the changes that you've made to it. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the gravity strength, you know, if there's gravity, maybe it's a rainy or snowy day, you want the leaves to look like they're hanging lower. Uh, to the ground because of the weight of the snow or the water on the leaves. You can change that with gravity strands, flatten, uh, randomness, branch number, change. You can change all those to get different looks of your, your, your leaves on your tree. Now to actually have these leaves put on the tree, let's, hold, let's hover our mouse over uh, the hand so we can pull this down to see. Then scroll down your mouse button so you can zoom out. So we can kind of position our tree better. <clears throat> to put these leaves on the tree, what you can do is click on create leaf. And the next thing you can do is just click on this uh, eyedropper and hover over your leaf and click on that. And it applies leaves to the tree automatically, which is great. Now you can see that at the base of the tree, there aren't really that many leaves. And that's because the branch splitting isn't as much on the bottom. So in order to apply branch splitting and more leaves to the base of the tree, what you're going to have to do is go to your split proba. Don't click this too much. If you do, it's going to crash Blender. But just you know, be a little bit moderate with your clicking in terms of increasing your your, your uh, branch splitting down. There. So let's click it just a little bit. Just be kind of cautious with it. And as we click, it adds more leaves to the base of our tree here, which is what we're wanting. And to increase the number of leaves on our tree, what we're going to do, let me see, is go to our, in our tree parameters, we're gonna to go to leaf amount, which is here. And once again, just be cautious, right now we're at 14,435 vertices with the leaves, which is great. But if we want a fuller looking tree, we're going to have to increase this number. So let's increase it to like 4,004. One, two, three, enter. And it adds more leaves to our tree. Once again, be cautious with it because the more leaves you add to it, the slower it's going to uh, render because it's trying to calculate all that stuff. And now, as I mentioned before, with this uh, node system, you have to uh, pretty much be cautious with it because it's great, but then you have to pretty much not overdo it with your, your increasing the number of branches and the number of leaves, just be uh, cautious with it. And as I said before, it doesn't work at all in, in EVE in terms of the rendering. And I'll show you what I mean here. We're gonna go to a uh, different uh, viewport shading, which right now we're looking at, we're at an EVE right now. So if we click on that, it's going to give us our viewport in EVE, a uh, viewport shading in EVE, and it's just white because it doesn't work in EVE, but in Cycles it does. So we go to Cycles, and I'm going to use my GPU, and my computer's like revving up. 
and I'm going to change the uh, appearance of the um, of the outside or the of my computer really starting to rip up. Let me go back to uh, the other viewpoint shade that way I don't crash the uh, system or end up stopping the tutorial because my fans will be kicking in here. But I'm going to change the lighting in the background. And I'm not going to add light to so I'm just going to change it from gray to white. That way when we go back to cycles you'll see uh, you'll be able to see the tree a little bit better. <clears throat> now with the with the uh, texture of the branches and of the roots of the trunk, that also automatically is done by this add-on. <clears throat> if I expand uh, my panel here, a pen materials is there because it's, it's already appended the trunk materials to the tree. And for you to see that, just go down to materials and you'll see it here. We're going to click on our trunk and then we're going to left click on our drop down menu and you can see it's got a branch text or a a branch or a trunk text already ready for us to use. So left left click on that and it automatically applies it to it. And for in order for us to see it, we're gonna go into cycles again and hopefully Blender doesn't crash, but let me click on the cycles user interface. And it's here but it's like kind of stretched out. I mean, remember this is open source, so sometimes this is kind of iffy. It kind of works sometimes, and sometimes it doesn't. Let me see if I could choose another branch texture that's available to us with this add-on. Uh, let me see, can I expand this? Okay. Uh, I think I closed. Okay, there it is. Okay. You see a uh, twig. Let's see how that works. Okay, twig is a little bit better. It's a little bit better. But yeah, yeah. So yeah, this is the uh, the add-on, free add-on for Blender called the M Tree Add-on, node-based uh, tree creating or tree generating um, add-on. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, it's open source and it's great. Let's zoom in a little bit so you can see the texture of the tree. And sometimes, like I said before, uh, I was dabbling in this before, and the tree texture or the the uh, trunk texture and branch texture actually came out looking better than this. Let me see if I can pick another one that would actually look a little bit better. So wait, that's not it either. So sometimes it does work great, and sometimes it doesn't. But yeah, this is the add-on which. For an open source add-on, it works pretty good. So if you want to create trees um, without having to use B-Tree, which is a paid <coughs> um, paid software, or Groove 3D, which is also good, which is something that's used in Blender, M-Tree is a good alternative. It's with low poly trees. I mean, you can create high poly trees with it also. But like I said before, straight out of the box as it is, it's not bad at all. It creates leaves for your tree. You can increase the uh, leaf counts by changing it, increasing it in the uh, in the tree parameters, increasing the leaf amounts, and adding more trees to it or more uh, leaves to it by increasing your uh, sp the split proba in the branches. But yeah, besides, it's just really good. You can actually get extreme variations with it. You can make the tree a lot fuller than it is right now. But like I said, it's straight out of the box. Plug and play without having to go on to any in-depth, you know, uh, node-based tutorials. It's just straight out of the box. So yeah, M3 add-on is, is pretty good. But like I said before, just be cautious with it in terms of increasing the branch count and the leaf count because it, it can crash. That's just... The yeah, general rule of thumb with all add-ons, in general, if you increase the resolution, increase the, the counts of it, increase the the, uh, the uh, mesh, so on and so forth, they can crash Blender, so just be cautious with it. But yeah, once again, this is an uh, entry add-on for Blender, works great, looks great, and just experiment with it. I'll leave a link of it in the description of this video, and uh, once again, thank you guys for watching, appreciate you guys, and thank you guys for subscribing, and those who will subscribe in the future. We appreciate you guys and 
You guys have a great time and have a great life. Have a great existence. And I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.